Properties of quadrilaterals show up all over geometry, in proofs, in true and false questions, in multiple choice and fill in the blank. So it's really good to know the properties of various quadrilaterals. Parallelograms have properties that apply to rectangles, rhombi, and squares. So whatever we decide that, that parallelograms have as properties, it's going to apply to those three uh, parallelograms as well. First key thing is opposite sides are congruent. Well, if I look at opposite sides, I'm going to mark those two sides as being congruent to each other. But how do we know this is a parallelogram? Well, definition of a parallelogram is that we have two pairs of parallel sides. So notice in a parallelogram that all four sides don't need to be congruent. If they were, that would be a rhombus. The second key thing is that the opposite angles are congruent. So if I look at this angle right here, its opposite is basically if I drew a diagonal, where would that angle be? So opposite angles are congruent. So I'm going to mark these two angles as being congruent to each other, but not congruent to the other consecutive angles. Next thing is consecutive angles are supplementary. So if I called this angle X, and if I called this angle Y, so this would be X and this would be Y, no matter how I looked at this, consecutive angles, X plus Y, they're going to equal 180 degrees. But why is that? If I have two parallel lines, this side right here can be thought of as a transversal. And we have same side interior angles, which are always supplementary. Same can be said for these two parallel lines, where we have a transversal. So no matter how I look at this, I'm going to have same side interior angles. And the last key thing is that the diagonals will bisect each other. So I'm going to draw that in, in a different color marker. So if I drew in a diagonal right here, and if I drew in another diagonal, there's only two diagonals in a parallelogram. Notice that these are not going to be congruent to each other, but what will happen is that this point right here will bisect that diagonal into two congruent pieces, and this point will bisect the other diagonal. So I'm going to use one, two, three, four markings to show that this is bisected. So you're going to apply this knowledge in proofs, in problems, and in true and false and fill in the blank questions.